Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available. Okay, so um, I actually do have slides. I think it's actually a little bit more fun to look at this. Um, Right, so the, the green is the, the two things that, uh, uh, that, the, uh, that people wanted uh, quite a bit. And the blue is the stuff that uh, Hal and I were talking about. Uh, <laughs> so uh, better documentation. Apparently, uh, we should check out IPython and notebooks. And um, some way to uh, automatically search over hyperparameters uh, so that people didn't have to learn what all the hyperparameters are would be very helpful. Um, and then in terms of, uh, okay, so th this is my handwriting, and, and this is Hal's handwriting over here. Um, in terms of directions that we're thinking about research-wise, um, th there's some issues with finishing up the reductions, because right now reductions are kind of instantiated from the bottom up, but they, I think they should be instantiated from the top down, so from the complex to the simple. Um, so that, that needs to be fixed. And then there's another, there's a second issue with re to reductions, which is sometimes you want to reduce to more than one kind of problem. Uh, so examples of this come up um, in contextual bandit learning, where you want to both reduce to, cost to classification and to regression. Uh, and and the, the combination of the two is better than either individually. Um, OK, so th this is kind of finishing up the reductions work. And then. Uh, we want to create an exploration library because uh, the ability to kind of choose which data you're getting can become very powerful and have uh, many applications. So this is something which is pretty high priority for us. Um, we want to create a, a global testing framework. And I mean not a unit testing framework here, right? So unit testing, you have a bunch of small tests. Uh, when you have a, a reduction stack that can um, map a large number of very different problems onto the same base learning algorithm. It becomes possible to try to apply this base learning algorithm to a lot of different problems. And then you can optimize this base learning algorithm across a very wide spectrum of different problems, right? So if we can create a global testing system, uh, that would be helpful. Now, the thing which is a little bit tricky here is uh, there is kind of a trade-off between accuracy and, and time. If you only emphasize accuracy, and then when you start optimizing against your global testing framework, you're going to go crazy because it will take forever. Uh, so exactly how to deal with that trade-off is not entirely clear to me. Um, and then, of course, playing with GPUs seems like a lot of fun. A lot of people have had fun with G GPUs recently. Um, and then, uh, what was I talking about for that one? Let me, let me go back. Let's go this way. Here we go. Um, oh, yes. So reductions take a complex problem, and then they decompose it into a bunch of little individual problems. But um, uh, multitask learning takes a bunch of little individual problems and then solves it jointly, right? And we know that multitask learning can be extremely helpful in many situations. Uh, you can see all the big deep learning successes are multitask learning of one sort or another. So it would be nice to think about base learning algorithms, which actually have a multitask nature. And, and that's potentially very powerful. Uh, OK, so then uh, <coughs> and there's, there's Hal's things. So uh, Hal's worrying about learning to search, L2S. And uh, one of the things he's working on right now is, so you, you have a, a joint set of predictions that you're trying to make. And some of these predictions depend upon other predictions. When the ones they depend upon are just the thing, the immediately three preceding predictions, it's pretty easy. But you would like to be able to specify, uh, I depend upon this prediction and that prediction and that prediction, so that you can do more complex things easily. Uh, and OK, so that, that's one thing. Another is, is he, he's creating a, a Python interface um, for so that you can actually create uh, like that little piece of code that he showed you for uh, 
for part of speech tagging, you can create that in Python, uh, which I think a lot of people find more intuitive to work in uh, for good reasons. And then you can, you can fit that into the system, and then it will run. <coughs> and then uh, oh, this is a dependency parsing example uh, of learning to search. And then um, arbitrary ordering to the search seems potentially very powerful. R right now, um, there's a, a, a specified order to the search. But the search process c could be abstracted. And that could allow you to kind of uh, choose to label the part of speech and sort of the most sure thing first, which means that the things you're least sure about has everything around it labeled first so that you have more context information to label things appropriately, right? So these kinds of search strategies could be, uh, could, could give you a, a substantial jump in terms of how high of accuracy you could achieve automatically. Uh, and then uh, better, I think it's a better base algorithms. I don't know, but I think that's the rest of the reduction stack there, which is uh, needs to be further optimized. Okay, so other questions. There's a in the core issue. Okay, so this I think is kind of creeping number of different things and that needs to be dealt with. The issue which keeps coming up with documentation is um, do you want to do research today or do you want to do documentation today? <laughs> documentation. <laughs> that's, that's definitely what the trade-off that keeps coming up in my mind. But uh, yeah, I, I, do, I do understand that better documentation is needed. Oh, VW is already distributed. It's, it is. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so th in fact, there's in, on, on multiple uh, nodes. Or yeah. Okay, so, uh, I, 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 I personally regard linear learning on on a big cluster as a solved problem. Um, the the TerraScale learning paper, I think, does that very well. Yeah. Oh, right. We need to pester Miro about LBFGS in particular because it fails in ways which are not very clear. But I think one of the problems is uh, when you're writing the code, you don't know what an irrational error statement is. So it's, it's actually very helpful if, if people just say that's an irrational error. Just, I will pester Miro about that. Yeah? Sorry, let me rephrase my question. Sorry. Yeah. Do you have an engine for distributing stuff, uh, which is kind of generalized, uh, which could be used by other open source projects? Yes, I do. There's a, there's a separate library mm -hmm. inside of all inside of VW called the called All Reduce. Mm -hmm. and that that All Reduce library allows you to use All Reduce on to to, to parallelize learning algorithms. Okay. So you in that that, w that that's designed to be compatible with Hadoop clusters, as well as um, <coughs> as well as, you know, your own personal set of machines or whatever. Right. So, so that, that, that I think is that's something which I think Shogun could easily use yeah, that's what I'm to, to parallelize a lot of different algorithms relatively quickly because the number of lines of code per algorithm that you need to change is like two, typically. All right. All right. Thank you.